Today, we will be discussing how to palpate a pulse deficit. Anytime you're listening for a heartbeat, you should always simultaneously feel for a pulse. This is most easily done in the femoral triangle. When palpating for femoral pulses, we want to assess for synchronization. We want to know whether both sides feel the same and also feel for any arrhythmias and for strength in the femoral pulse quality. We have to remember that what we're feeling is the difference between systolic and diastolic pressures. And so a normal pulse will just be the difference between those two values. Once you get used to what a normal pulse should feel like, you will start to pick up on clues when you feel abnormal pulses. Pulses can be weak with low systolic or high diastolic pressures or bounding in animals with high systolic or low diastolic pressures. Just as before, the same procedure can be performed in a cat and should always be performed anytime you're listening for a heartbeat. It might be a little harder to get them to stand still. As mentioned, we are also palpating for synchrony between escolted heartbeats and palpated pulses. This can help identify arrhythmias or other serious conditions like myocardial failure, which will feel like alternating weak and strong pulses. Additionally, pulse deficits can occur with cardiac tachyarrhythmias in which beats occur so rapidly that the ventricle does not have time to adequately fill before ejection. These will feel like skipped pulses. This is why pulses should always be monitored while performing cardiac auscultation. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and if you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe.